In the last video, we were able to convert from units of inches over to units of centimeters through this unit relationship by coming up with something called the unit conversion factor. Now what I'd like to do is, we started off with some simple problems in which we just went either from units of inches to units of centimeters or units of centimeters over to units of inches. And now what I'd like to do is expand upon that and start converting from say units of feet all the way over to units of meters. So to begin, let's just start with a relatively simple problem in which we take, for example, five feet, and let's say we want to convert this over to units of, say, centimeters. That will be our first step. Now, I don't have to tell you that one foot equals 12 inches. I think that's something that we all know, but we kind of take it for granted that this is in fact also a unit relationship from which we can come up with a conversion factor from. Now I'll do one step where I just remind you um, how we go from the unit relationship to a conversion factor. Now in this case I have say one foot and it equals 12 inches. This is my unit relationship. So the first thing I'm going to do just to remind uh, you what we did in the last video. I'm going to divide both sides by one foot. What I do to one side of an equation, I have to do to another side of an equation. And when I do that, this side balances out with this side. And what you should see is one foot divided by one foot equals the number one. And in this case, this is going to equal 12 inches over one foot. So I came up with a conversion factor based off of information that we already know. So here's my general strategy. Here's how I'm going to go from units of feet over to units of centimeters. I don't know a direct relationship between the foot and the centimeter, but I do know a relationship between feet and inches, and from inches I know a direct relationship to centimeters. So this is going to be my overall mat method to go from units of feet to units of centimeters. I need to go first through units of inches. All right. So what I'm going to do first is show you a simple way to do this and then I'm going to show you a more, comp not a complicated, but a more convenient way to do this once you learn how to do conversion factors really well. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go from units of feet to units of um, centimeters. Now the first step I need to do is multiply this by my conversion factor. In this first case, I'm going to put one foot on the bottom because that's the unit I'm converting from to the unit I'm converting to, in this case, inches. Now when I do that, I get my units of feet cancel out and what I'm left with is the number five times twelve in the unit that, I, that remain are inches, so in this case five times twelve is sixty, so I get sixty inches. Now the next step I'm going to do, I'm going to go from sixty inches to centimeters because I know a direct relationship between units of inches and units of centimeters. So in this case, I know that one inch, which I'll put on the bottom, so I know one inch equals 2.54 centimeters and notice that my units of inches now cancel out and what I get is six, 60 times 2.54, and this looks like this should be a multiplication symbol, and the units that remain are centimeters. And when I simplify that, I get 60 times 2.54, which equals 152.4. And my units, I always have to include my units, are going to be centimeters. And I'm going to square that just so that I know that's my final answer. Now that's one way to do it. Now let me show you a slightly more sophisticated way, but a way that you'll begin to do this once you start getting really, really good at all these problems. All right, so my goal is to go from five feet over to centimeters. Now, in the previous, I'm going to do the exact same problem, but in the previous problem, I separated it into two separate conversions. In this problem, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do both of my conversions in one step. So the first thing I need to do is go from units of feet over to units of inches and to do that I again put one foot on the bottom equals 12 inches. Now notice this, this unit of feet cancels out with that unit of feet and I'm left with 12 inches here times 5. Now I'm going to do my next conversion step right in a row and when I do that 
I want to convert from this unit. I want to convert this unit over to units of centimeters. So I want to have centimeters on the top and inches on the bottom. And when I do that, I have to put one inch on the bottom because one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. And what you should see is this unit of inch cancels out with that unit of inch. And when I do that, I'm left with just units of centimeters in the end. Now, to find my final answer, I need to multiply 5 times 12 times 2.54. The units that are remaining are units of centimeters. And when I do that, I again get 152.4 centimeters. Now, the difference between this method and the previous method is I separated the previous method up into two separate steps. In this one, uh, in this problem, what I did is I put my two conversion steps out together. All right, now we'll do one more example like this. And in this case, why don't we go from units of feet over to units of, say, meters. So let's say I give you, um, let's say I have uh, 10 feet. And I want to convert this over to units of, say, meters. Now, let me show you a general strategy. When you get, when you get stuck, I don't know a direct relationship between units of feet and units of meters. But I do know that if I go from units of feet to units of inches, I know a direct relationship between those two units. I know a direct relationship between inches and centimeters. And then I know a direct relationship between units of centimeters and meters. So what you should do before you begin a problem, especially if you're stuck, write down the unit relationships that you know. So for example, write one foot equals 12 inches. Write one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Write 100 centimeters equals one meter. Now you have all of your re unit relationships right next to each other. And all you have to do is all of your conversion steps based on these unit relationships. So for example, with this problem, I have 10 feet. And actually, let me just clear up a little bit of room and keep those conversion factors on it. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert 10 feet. And to do that, I'm first going to multiply by a conversion factor that goes from feet over to units of inches. And to do that, I'm going to multiply this whole number by um, 1 foot on the bottom equals 12 inches. And notice that gets rid of my unit of feet. And now I can go from units of inches through another conversion factor into units of centimeters, because I know one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. And again, notice that this unit of inch cancels out with this unit of inch. So the only unit I have remaining is the unit of the centimeter. And now what I can do is multiply by another conversion factor which takes me from units of centimeters. So I'm going to need centimeters on the bottom. And I know 100 centimeters equals 1 meter. And now notice that the units of the centimeters cancels out. And the unit that remains is units of meters. So this problem will work out to be, and let me just make a little room here. It will be, I'm going to do multiply everything in the numerator. Let me do that in a different color. I'll multiply everything in the numerator and divide by everything in the denominator. So I'll do those two steps out. All right. So I'm going to multiply 10. So this all equals 10 times 12 times 2.54. And the units that I have remaining are units of meters. And I'm going to divide that out by 1 times 1 is 1 times 100. So 100 on the bottom. And now when I do that, I get 10 times 12 is 120 times 2.54 is 304.8 meters. And I'm going to divide that by 100. So I'm really dividing 304.8 by 100. And when I do that, I get 3.048 meters. And I'll circle that because that's my final answer. All right, we'll continue this with a few more conversion problems in the next few videos.